Welcome to the restaurant show, and we have a real great treat here from Beaufort, South Carolina. I have sh executive chef Gary Lang, and uh, we've got some beautiful things here in front of us, and I can't wait to hear, especially this one. This looks beautiful. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about the sampler platter here? Okay, this is one of our most popular items we sell at the restaurant. Okay. Um, what it is, it's uh, an opportunity to order. Um, you have eight choices oh, okay. of so our this larger is a, appetizers. Gotcha, so there's a lot of different right. choices. And you get smaller portions, but you get four of them. And for this particular one, we've got, um, this is our home uh, house cured salmon. Oh, it looks beautiful. Um, this is a butter bean hummus. Yes. Uh, pimento cheese. Which I could just slather that on right now. <laughs> I might in the middle. And it's good. <laughs> um, and then we have uh, pickled shrimp. Okay. Which and is I've, a low country specialty. I've heard about the pickled shrimp a lot, yes. actually. I've heard about that. But I think more important, let's, because I know you're going to actually give us a few tips and show us today how to make the butter bean, yeah, which I is different than your normal hummus. It's a little bit different. It's basically a traditional hummus recipe, but okay. instead of using chickpeas, which are um, the norm, right? we're going to use a little southern favorite, which oh, are butter beans. Okay, so we're going to move this over just for a second, but we'll okay. get back to it. And Do we're going to, gonna, bring yeah, let's bring it in. Okay. I know it's heavy. <laughs> All right, so now just to let you know, folks, this is actually on their website, uh, breakwatersc.com, and you can get this great recipe. So don't worry right. about writing everything down now. Just watch the magic happen right here in front of us. Okay, we're going to take butter beans that are pre-cooked in salted water. Okay, real easy, just hygiene. Yeah. Can you get them if you're at home and you make, can you get them already cooked? Um, you can buy them frozen, you, okay. you still have to cook them some. Okay, um, all right. When they're not in season, that's probably the best, the best way, way to buy okay. them. Yes. Good, so in case it's off season, you will still be able right. to find them, okay. And these will be in season probably locally till maybe the end of October. Oh, okay. And I, I know mean, the you, beginning of October. And I know you are very much into the sustainable movement. I know you're very involved in you using a lot of local yes. food. So you obviously know the great seasons to get your <laughs> to right. get your butter beans. Right. <laughs> and this is prime season for these right now. Great. Okay. To that we're gonna add a canola olive oil blend. Okay. And so a nice blend. Easy yeah. again, easy access easily accessible. Right. All right, good And deal. the proportions, again, are on the website. Okay, yeah, so if you're not making a huge amount right. like this. This is a fresh squeezed lemon juice. Oh, great. And tahini mm. paste. Okay, and again, this is something you can actually get right at your, I've seen this at the local grocery store. Should be able to find this locally, right. yes. Okay. It's quite popular. It's, um, and I think it's in the ethnic, it's really, it's like in the ethnic aisle, it's like the Asian food. Yeah. Usually it's in that same aisle that exactly. you can grab that. And not too much. It almost looks like peanut butter, but it does not taste like peanut butter. What no. is it? It's like a sesame It's a sesame paste. paste. Great. And then we've got cumin, mm -hmm. coriander. Love it. And then, of course, and salt. And, of course, yes. Always have to add that All right, in. So <laughs> put that in there. Now, if you don't have this beautiful Robocoop, <laughs> you could just use a, a, food, a regular food processor, right? Like a small You can use version. a regular home food processor, mm -hmm. or you can use your blender. Perfect. Easy enough. So All right. Put that in there. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Right. Do we get to keep all this here? When you're done? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that is. Yeah. Look at the color. It's gorgeous. And then just blend it up. It's nice and smooth. And there we go. And it's you don't have to and open it all up. But that's how yep. we get this yep, beautiful hummus go. here. And tell me, what are we serving it with here too? Uh, the way we serve it at the restaurant is we just served it with uh, some grilled pita. Okay, great. It's That's perfect. Easy. Again. Yeah, it's simple. Very simple. But of course, if you really want to get the true taste of it, you got to come to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and tell me about, okay, now, like I said, I've heard about this pickle shrimp. I have not had the pleasure yet of having it, but tell us a little bit about the pickle pickle shrimp. Uh, it's kind of a low country tradition. Mm -hmm. um, first time I ever had it, we moved here 11 years ago. Okay, yeah, and we've been here a First while. time I ever had it, somebody invited us over to their house. Um, and this was brought as an appetizer, and I was like, wow, what is this? You're like, what is going on yeah. here? <laughs> so I've take, taken several of my friends' uh, local recipes, and we kind of made our own. Great. Uh, we and what's in it? What's what? What we do is we make kind of an equal blend of oil and uh, white wine and okay. red wine vinegar, a little bit of sugar, capers, onions. And how long do you pickle Perfect. it for? Um, if you're going to serve it for dinner the next night or right. a dinner, either first thing that morning or you can do it as early as the night before. Gotcha, so you really get those flavors in right. there. And I see you have some beautiful capers in here, mm -hmm. some onions and fresh lemon on it. Nice and light, especially in this heat. Right. <laughs> especially in this heat. And of course, pimento cheese, southern staple. Absolutely. What's your twist on it? <laughs> You've got to have that twist, right? You're an executive chef. I know you do. This is a, um, <laughs> we have a business partner and our other executive chef, um, 
who's in Greenville. Okay. This is a modification of her mother's recipe. Oh. And one of the things that we do with this, we take a really sharp cheddar cheese right. and blend it with a milder. Can I taste? You I, may I, taste. I, it's too tempting. <laughs> <laughs> you may taste. Excellent. Um, one of the things that she did for this recipe, and um, mm. it does work out better, her mom's recipe called for, and, and this is kind of a southern tradition, mm. is uh, grated onions, a yeah. lot of grated onions. We omitted that. I've, it I've really gives that. it a pungent, strong taste, and uh, we didn't particularly like it, so that was one of the I modifications. But we make it, it's very light in any type of a binder, such as mayonnaise or something like right. that. We use olive oil. It's beautiful, and then I love it with the sesame cracker. Yes. It's, it's excellent. So um, I know you just mentioned Greenville. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a new venture for you, isn't it? That's a new location it is. for we you. Have. We've been open three months there. Yeah, and I heard you already won awards over there. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. We did. We did. We won an open table uh, diner's choice award. That's excellent. And that is in Greenville. Right. Um, so you have the Greenville and the Beaufort. That's right. Okay. And I know at Beaufort, um, my kids go to school in Beaufort, so I pass by your place every day. And I've always heard about this fantastic wine room. Oh, yes. But I'm in there the, I'm there in the day, and you serve dinner only, right? And that is... Right. We're dinner only, Monday. Monday through Friday. Okay. No, Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday. You want to be off on Saturday. Yes. I hear you. <laughs> we open at 5. And you open at 5. So the wine room, um, I hear that it is definitely a place to be. It how is. Do you, how do you get that room? It's a great private spot. Um, uh, okay, perfect. It's, it, it's kind of small and intimate. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for groups of 6 to maximum is 14. Oh, nice. So 14 is a little squishy. Really um, great uh, place to have nice special occasions. Mm -hmm. And how do we get that? <laughs> do you just call? You call the... Uh, Restaurant. Okay. 843 Great. And so if you have a special occasion coming up or even just want to have a great dinner, a private little setting for yourself, uh, Breakwater in South Carolina, Beaufort, or Greenville is the way to go. So thank you, Chef, so much for coming on. Thank you for And uh, remember, online is the recipe for that butter bean hummus. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.